for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking at maneuver searches for the last several videos. This is a really simple little thing you can do with the maneuver search dialog. It will search for sacrifices. And all you have to do, although you can combine this with other maneuver searches, all you have to do is check one box but it is a slow search. Let me show you how to do it. We're going to go back to our classical database from 1830 to 1899. Select search, select the maneuver tab. You'll notice a box that says sacrifice. If all you want to find are sacrifices and you don't much care what is sacrificed, whether it's black doing it, white doing it, whatever, just check the sacrifice box. That's all you have to do. Click OK and let her rip. This does take some time because what chess base has to do is it has to go through the games and find games in which a piece is offered. It, it, it has to skip games for example in which a bishop is swapped for a bishop. It has to be games in which a bishop is swapped for a, or a rook is swapped for a bishop where the exchange is given up or where material is given up for absolutely no recompense where you're not getting anything back for it. So it has to not only find positions in which material was given up, but where you don't get full value materially for that piece being given or pawn being given up. So it takes a little bit of time. In fact, this is a fairly small database of games, and with the video capture software running, it would actually take over an hour to search the games from 1830 to 1899. Without the video capture software running, it was about a 40-minute search. So I'm going to stop it here just so we can look at some games just to see what we come up with. For example, we have rook takes bishop, queen takes rook, so there you go, there's a sacrifice. Black has given up the exchange in this position. Here we have, and of course it takes you to the position after the sacrifice has occurred. So you have to back up one move to see what actually happens. This one is really interesting. Uh, the pawn comes forward Black takes the pawn, and white actually wins the game at this point. Black resigns. That C pawn comes forward and makes that little mini pawn chain. So instead of recapturing, and we'll do it again, the white B pawn comes forward, black captures with his A pawn, and instead of recapturing with his B5 pawn, white just moves ahead. So he gives up a pawn to actually make a little mini pawn chain. Go to the next game, and we see what happens here. We'll back up one. The black bishop on h2 goes to g1, and white takes, and then black takes. So it's kind of interesting because it looks like a sacrifice. At first it looks like the bishop is just going to be gone, but then black gets back the material. So sometimes you find pseudo-sacrifices. Sometimes you will actually find games in these searches in which a sacrifice is offered and not accepted. Sometimes you'll find a, a move, for example, where... Um, instead, let's say instead of a, uh, a bishop on h2, you might have a rook on the g-file that might move to g1 for some reason, and white opts to not take with his king. But you might have that move come up, because what's happened is black offered a sacrifice on g1 that white declined. So you do fi occasionally find declined sacrifices with this surge as well. Another game we can look at here is the black rook takes the bishop, and then skates away and here it's just white has basically sacrificed a bishop in order to advance his h-pawn. So it's a very simple little one-click search. I'll just go back and show you again. There are ways to tweak it and modify it but if you just want to find sacrifices this is an excellent way to do it. You just need to be patient. It takes a little while for this search to complete because the, the chess-based software not only has to find positions in which a piece is offered or captured, but then has to evaluate the results as to whether it was actually a sacrifice or just a garden variety swap. But if you click just the sacrifice box and touch nothing else here and click OK, it will pull up 
sacrifices. You can tweak it. You've got numerical values where you can determine how much of a sacrifice it is with numbers here corresponding to pawn value. For example, you can uh, make it a 3, in which case the sacrificing player has to sacrifice a minor piece or at least a minor piece or equivalent value. You can do that as well. You can also uh, take your sacrifice toggle and combine it with other toggles, like a white piece on a particular square moves to another square and it results in a sacrifice. So you can combine it with the other maneuver searches that we have looked at. But the bare bones basics is just click the box, click OK, sit back, be patient, but when it's done there will be scores and scores and scores of games in which sacrifices occur. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.